what we have discussed is uh, what could be the future of urban mobility, but actually I think cities uh, need to start where they are currently with the challenges they face currently, what are opportunities to optimize mobility, to um, optimize also accessibility inside the city. And I think um, it is there is not one solution actually to achieve a vertically integrated mobility or what we term mobility as a service, but rather we will see a gradual shift that, that uh, is derived from data analysis and, and really keeping up the, the proper information and making the right decisions on how you can optimize the current structures because cities are not newly built from scratch. Uh, it is very, very difficult to change existing structures and to change existing structures, I think new forms of mobility and, and new connections inside the city um, need to be changed over time and step by step. So we will see an, an ecosystem of solutions growing where you can integrate different forms of, of, of mobility, whether that's e-mobility, whether that's bike sharing, carpooling offers, into one system. But that will take the next, I think, 20 years for most cities to really make those changes in infrastructure and also ensuring that these systems are adopted by the citizens because otherwise uh, no public transport system um, will be cost efficient, which is another important aspect of, of today's cities with, with budgetary constraints to create a working system.